All right, Bolo Buddies, we are at the Goodwill Bins, one of my favorite places to shop. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, so I usually get there right early in the morning at 9 a.m. I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting on everybody to start lining up. And that way I get a cart because at our Goodwill bins, if you're not there early, you do not get a cart. <laughs> and not having a cart is no fun. So, um, this could be part two. I think this may be part two of the day because when I go, I'm usually there four to five hours. So I usually get two videos out of it. And if I remember correctly, I was getting ready to leave. And yep, I can see the bags in my cart. I had already bagged everything up because I bag it before I have them weigh it. It just makes it easier for me. And they pulled out new carts. So that is what I am going through right now is the new buggies. So I'm really glad I went in or stayed, I should say, uh, because I found some decent stuff. And I'm going to show you what I found here right now. Just kind of digging through some big stuff and a lot of stuff that really wasn't catching my eye. So what I want you guys to do and what I ask of my viewers is, when you're watching, if you see something that you would have grabbed that I missed, put it down in the comments and timestamp it. So if it was at three minutes and 20 seconds, put that down in the comments so that everybody can go back and see the bolo item that I missed. Does it have to be a big money bolo? No, just something that you would have picked up that maybe I should have picked up. I did pick this up because in the past, um, I have heard that um, Dave Ramsey sells well, but I comped this particular set and it really didn't comp out that high. Would you guys have grabbed this? I probably could have gotten it for media price. Um, I think there may have been writing in it, but not 100% sure. But do you see the bolo? It's right here. So I have a whole video showing you guys how to replace the batteries on this thing. Oh my goodness. It's kind of difficult, actually. It's over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, and this is what it looks like. And I talk about the glowworm in particular as a Bolo. So we talk about comps and stuff, and then I also show you how to change the batteries. All right, we're getting all these pop-ups of things that I have listed. These little guys, I had to use Google Lens to figure it out. Um, they're from Treasure Planet. And then I also found a caboodle. Uh, the caboodle was in okay shape, so I went ahead and listed that. And I think there was one more that I missed. It was those little lids. And those little lids were pretty cool. They were vintage and plastic. I did grab the little people, and I did grab this water toy. So the water toys listed. Uh, currently, I'm making a bag full of little people, and I'm probably going to part those out and put the animals together and the people together because I always pick those up from the bottom of the bins when I find them. All the little small toys, depending on what it is, some of them I will list individually, and a lot of them I will just put into small lots. So, as I always tell you guys, if you see me put it in my cart, it doesn't necessarily mean that I took it home with me. At the end, when I'm done shopping, a lot of times I will throw stuff back in. So, if you see a screenshot, it means I bought it and it is currently listed in my eBay store. If it pops up with a sold, that means it has already sold. Now, I will tell you I've been really, really behind on my Goodwill Benz videos because I was doing whatnot. And um, I'm taking a break and working on getting these Benz videos out for you guys. Everybody was asking me, where are the Benz videos? And I'm like, I need to list. So I've been listing a ton on eBay, but most of the items have not been up for a super long time. So you're not gonna see a lot of solds in this video. However, the items that you are going to see sold, this is how long this stuff has been sitting in my garage. So um, I bought this stuff before Halloween. And I will tell you that I did have some Ben's videos that came out before this that I bought after this and 
all my bags are mixed up and kind of a little bit everywhere. If you understand what I'm saying, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I have um, piles and piles of Ben's bags and I keep the receipts in them and then I date my videos with the date of the receipt. So kind of just pulling from there. But anyway, there were some costumes and I picked these up. I, I think this was in September. So I picked these items up in September and I went ahead and listed the Halloween stuff as soon as I got it because I was hoping it would sell before October. And when I say the Halloween stuff, these Halloween items I haven't listed yet, but all of the costumes I did list and you will see most of them sold. So that is good news. But everything else I just left in the bag for another day, which happens to be that I listed end of February. Um, and so everything is just now listed. It was end of February, beginning of March. I think I got most of these items listed. So that is what we're looking at here. So again, timestamp anything you see that I missed. I did find a super cool item and I think it's a big money bolo, but my husband is keeping it. So we will talk about that as we go along in the video. I sh probably should have got that Simon game. It was in the box. I don't know why I left that behind. So I'm sure some of you are gonna put, I would have got the Simon game down in the comments. Maybe it wasn't new, maybe it was just original box, but either way, I think I still could have sold it. All right. Oh, at the beginning, I showed you guys a screenshot of my whatnot. And I showed you my buy it now section. I put one of those uh, Squishmallows and a dog toy that I picked up today at the bins in this video today. And I just listed those over in my whatnot in the buy it now section. If you don't know, you can have a buy it now section that works just like a marketplace. And I posted a screenshot way back at the beginning of the video that I just did that explains how that works. It's pretty cool. I had somebody come in the other day and actually just buy a Cabbage Patch Kid that I had bought from the bins from me, from my Whatnot Buy It Now. So uh, pretty cool. If you guys are not on Whatnot and you wanna check it out, you can use my referral code down below and get $15 to shop. That is on Whatnot. Now that big Blaze and the Monster Machine toy I just picked up, it was broken, so I listed the battery compartment. Here is one of the costumes that sold. It is a Lightning McQueen um, costume and it's a car. It kind of looks like a 3D, you put it over your body. That sold really quickly for $39 plus shipping. That was an awesome, awesome find. I had no idea it was gonna be such a great bolo when I picked it up, but it definitely was. This little guy I picked up, I'm gonna wash him up. So I have not got him listed yet. This here, uh, those big toys, I don't normally pick them up unless they're um, something that I know is a bolo. I did not look that one up. Maybe I should have. Here's another item I picked up that kind of needs spot cleaned, so waiting to list that. Not in a huge hurry because Halloween is not close. I do list Halloween things all year long, but um, again, I've got plenty of time before Halloween to get those washed and listed. Lots of little plushy toys. Um, I love picking up plush. I actually just sold one for $150. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be in one of my Goodwill Bins videos. Um, it sold so fast, super excited about it. And we are gonna keep digging here. Let me know what your best sale of the month was. In fact, if you guys wanna go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, you can put it over there under the share post and I'll feature it in a video. All right, so that was a bag of costumes. I was really hoping there was gonna be some good stuff in there. I didn't look through it, I just went ahead and grabbed it. I did sell two items right away on Poshmark, but as you can see, they were only $7 items. Uh, the one costume was damaged and the other one was just a replacement piece to a costume. Now, the good news was it was right before Halloween and they sold really quickly and I didn't expect them to sell at all. So I was actually really excited about those profits. So you just never know. Um, sometimes costumes can be really, really long tail. And I did pretty good with the ones that I found. So the one was just a ninja costume. I believe I picked this up. I am almost sure of it, but I cannot find it. Um, it's probably in one of my unlisted bags, but um, 
If I didn't pick it up, I should have. I, I feel like I already did the bag from this day because everything else in this video I have popped up screen shares for, but I just can't believe that I would have left that advent behind. Um, even if I don't list the actual advent, um, all of those little uh, Velcro pieces, I definitely could have um, pulled those out and sold them as replacements. So definitely never leave an advent behind. So if I did, I don't know what I was thinking. I did grab this Snoopy right here and I've got him listed and currently available in my eBay store. Just a nice bread and butter item. I'm checking out the bottom of the toys. Sometimes you'll see Goodwill tags on them. That means it didn't make, they didn't sell in the store and it came over to the Goodwill bins. From what I'm understanding is some of the items go to the Goodwill first and other items, they never hit the Goodwill store. They just come straight to the bins. Definitely, definitely potential to find amazing items at the Goodwill bins. That is for sure. Right here, that is what I bought that I am keeping. And it's not for me, it's for my husband. I'm like, well, how much do you think I should list this for? I could not find any comparables. It is incredible. I'm gonna lay those out for you at the end and show you exactly what they are. But my husband, um, we wanna build a garage in the future. And he's like, I wanna hang those up. And I'm like, all right, we'll do that. We'll hang on to them for now. So who knows when that'll happen. Um, but definitely just a nice little um, item that was really heavy. I can't, I wanna say they gave me a discount on that because it was so heavy, but I can't remember. Usually if it's a really heavy item, I don't know if they have a certain weight that they go by. Sometimes they weigh it and it'll be half off. Sometimes they just give you a set price. It really just depends on who the person is checking you out. Sometimes you have to get a manager. Um, lots of variation on how the pricing works for heavy items. I love smalls. I especially love toys. If you're new to my channel, definitely check out some of my what sold videos if you want to see the types of items that I sell. And I was telling you guys earlier to go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and share your big money Bolo of the month. And I put those into video format to help everybody learn what to look for. And um, it is a great way to learn. I learned so much from those posts. But um, it'll be a share post. It'll be under the announcements featured section. And literally, you put a screenshot. You tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. And then I make a video out of it. So check out some of those other videos. I think last month I had eight or nine videos from just one post in the Facebook group. So many incredible bolos were shared. And for those of you that are already in the Facebook group and already sharing, thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. Um, you're helping everybody learn and that is awesome. All right, let's see. How many things have I missed that you guys would have picked up? I'm sure many of you are yelling at the screen. Uh, that glow worm I, is just awesome. I love the glow worm. I think I had one of those as a kid. This Gillette razor, I did pick this up, but there was some buzz going on in the reselling community. It's been probably six months to a year ago. Something about Gillette. I can't remember the details. So I have not listed that and I don't know if I will. Um, that other little thing I just picked up, it ended up having a um, marker on it. So I went ahead and left that uh, ended up donating that. Okay, so here's my whatnot. You can see I've got the dog toy listed over there. I'm trying to list stuff on my whatnot really inexpensively. <laughs> Is that a word? Really cheap uh, at low prices. Um, I'm trying to draw people over to my whatnot by doing that. So definitely use that referral link down below. Get your free $15 to shop. You don't have to spend that $15 with me. You can spend that with anybody and lots of great, great channels over there. Um, so many uh, people are selling on whatnot. It is just, it's a really fun platform. And I have actually been sourcing on whatnot as well. I've been buying stuff to resell. Um, I have that one video where somebody bought something for, uh, I think it was $20 and sold it for $999. And it sold in, I think, 10 minutes. And then in a recent video that has not published yet, somebody bought something on Whatnot for $6 and sold it for $150. Just absolutely crazy. So we're going to keep looking here. And 
I encourage you guys, even if you don't want to sell them, whatnot, to head on over there and check out the site and use that free money. And if you hate it, you don't have to do it. But if you love it, you know, you've got 15 free dollars to shop. All right. What is that? Oh, should I have picked this up? It looks like a replacement part to maybe like a vacuum cleaner or something like that. All right, as I'm digging here, I am gonna tell you guys about List Perfectly. Um, I use that, it's a cross posting service and I start my items on eBay and I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. If you're interested in checking that out, there is a video down in the description that shows you how it works. And if you like what you see, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies. Now you did see me pick up that cross stitch kit. I am pretty sure that I sold that on Whatnot. Um, I'm almost 100% positive because I think I sold two or three of them over there. So cross-stitch kits are awesome. If they are sealed, I always, always, always pick up cross-stitch kits if they are a good price. Um, if they're 3 to $5 or more, I will look them up. But some of them are worth picking up for even that price. So definitely be on the lookout. Uh, so that would be cross-stitch, cruel, all those different sewing kits, needlepoint, Pick them all up if they're cheap because they will sell. They range from bread and butter to big money. Some of them go for hundreds of dollars. I do have a category video, which is another type of video I do on cross-stitch kits. So I will pick a category and I will teach you guys about that category. I kind of do like a deep research and uh, search solds and find the ones that are selling for big money. And I've got lots and lots of those videos most recently, I've done quite a few on some plush. That was an LOL doll. I pick those up and then I will lot them. So that is also going into a Ziploc bag and will be bundled together in a listing later. But you can check out my eBay store. It's linked down below. I may have some currently listed that have already been bundled. I can't remember. My eBay store is pretty big. So um, I've been doing, uh, I've been reselling for a really long time and I have been on YouTube. I think we're at about four years, a little over four years now. So thank you all so much uh, for being here. I know some of you have been here from the very beginning. Let me know down in the comments if you have been watching my channel since the very beginning. Um, curious to know. I know that I see comments from people that have been around a long time and I appreciate all of you so much. The new, the old, I just, you guys are great and I thank you for watching. All right, here is what I found and one of them was cut in half. I think that's the one that was cut in half right here. So those two pieces actually need put back together. Look how cool they are. They are Lexus racing things. So I imagine these were at some sort of event and they were rolled up, but this one is awesome. I could probably sell that for a lot of money, right? What do you guys think? So two of them are complete and ready to go. Thank you guys for being here. Leave me a comment and thanks for watching.